Hi STEM learners, this is just a quick video to show you how to connect your two DC motors to your Arduino through the L293D motor driver. So you'll need a couple of things, you'll need your mini breadboard with your motor driver, you'll need your Arduino, you'll need your two motors with their wires soldered on, you need some double sided sticky tape to put your battery on later on and another battery to power your Arduino. You'll need a couple of short wires for the power and ground. You'll need two types of colors for your digital inputs. You'll also need two longer wires. Okay, here's a picture of the motor driver. It's the L293D motor driver. It has 16 pins. First, what we need to do is supply the power. Power input is here at VCC1. So we need to connect a wire between VCC1 and the enable 1 to pin first. The reason we do that is because that's going to then enable the inputs and outputs 1 and inputs and outputs 2 to function. We will then connect VCC1 down to enable 3 and 4 because we also want to enable inputs and outputs 3 and inputs and outputs 4. We will then connect another wire from that same input pin input voltage to the 5 volt supply on our Arduino. Next we need to ground the motor driver. So you can see here that pins 4 and 5 and pins 13 and 12 are the ground pins. They're the middle four pins of the motor driver. So we're going to connect 4 to 13 and 5 to 12 and then we will connect 4 to 5 as well so that they're all connected and then we'll take one of them and connect it to the ground on our Arduino. The next step is to take our motor wires. So the motor wires are going to be the outputs. So we have the third from the top and the third from the bottom on the right hand side of the chip which need to be the, we've chosen to put the red side of our motor wire into output 4 and the black side into output 3. Similarly the other the left motor, the black would go into output 2 and the red would go into output 1. So the outputs are referring to the motor. Then the inputs will be what's going to come into the chip from the Arduino. So we use input 4 and input 3, the second and the second last pins on the right hand side for the right motor and inputs 1 and inputs two, the second again and second from the bottom pins of the chip for the inputs from the Arduino and they will go to the chosen digital pins on the Arduino. We've chosen six, seven, eight and nine. Finally we need to connect pin eight of the chip to some extra voltage. So we're supplying an extra 9 volts to this pin. So the red side of the 9 volts battery is going there and the ground will go into our Arduino.